Hi, my name is Sevier and welcome to Haiti. So today we're going to work. It's gonna be a pre packed schedule. I have a wedding to record and also uh, I'm gonna to start today with a Haitian proverb. Don't let yesterday waste today. But don't waste your time reliving the past. And I'm sure you understand that. Let's get back to work. We have some legs to make. That's gonna be a good day. And maybe you're gonna watch somebody get some haircuts and stuff for the wedding. Ah, Dr. Nelson. Nice to see him in the morning. He's up way before me and I am cutting the socket. And yep, I finished cutting it out and there's the inside of it. So now I have to sand it. So this is a sanding cone, just a rough sanding cone. Once I finish my rough sanding, I am prepping this valve. So this is a valve that helps with suction and keeps the leg on the patient. And so with this patient, I am going to put that on. And now there's little holes on the bottom. And so I'm attaching this little piece. So that way this can attach to the leg. So we have to go get some screws from this little box right here. Thank you, Tim, for organizing this. Tim is the reason why I'm here. He actually set up this whole office for me. So that's why I think Tim's awesome. And yeah, so now it's connected to this pipe. And now I just got to connect the rest of it, like the knee and the foot. Ta-da! The knee and the foot is connected. Uh, I need to shorten that pipe right there. Hi, thank you so much for following, liking, subscribing. I appreciate it so much. And you know what? We have so many people. We have so many people. I think we're almost at 400 now. I think last week I said 300, almost 400. That's amazing. But also thank you for all those who have been with me, just trucking along, watching my journey. And you know what? And those of you who just wait for my videos to come up, I appreciate you guys so much too. Every single person around the world right now doing good, smiling at people, being kind to one another. Those ones are the troopers. Those are you guys too. I know that the ones that are watching are the world changers. So thank you for changing the world with me. And that kind word or that kind gesture or that that extra hard work for that person that you do at the job that you're at, man, that changes the world. And I appreciate you. You can look at the comments. I think that they're super, super encouraging. They just tell you that the world is a good place. We just need to surround us by the people that are trying to change it. We are growing and continue watching because I'm going to take you Washington. I'm going to take you Dominican Republic. I'm going to take you around the world, just like me. We might even go to Vietnam. So stay tuned there, but that's okay. Now the patient's walking. So that's his first couple steps here. And now he's walking back. So he's really happy. So you see that there is something on his hip. So there's a brown thing. That's actually, a, that's a belt. So I have two suspensions on him. I have a belt and I have the suction suspension. So it's actually super duper comfortable and he's really happy with it. So that makes me happy. There's a couple of adjustments and this is some gait training that I have him going through just so that he can walk better. I have his foot put in front of the other foot just so that he has some more um, practice with stability. And yeah, so that's what it looks like. And that gets sent with home, him home today. And then later on, I put on a cover. No, so working on patients, sometimes you get it right and sometimes they grow or sometimes your thigh hurts. And so this patient's come back because the top part here is a little bit too small. And that's why it's always great to stay. If I just come to Haiti and just make a ton of braces and legs, and then I just leave, I literally left a problem. Like, who's gonna fix this, you know? Um, so many limited people don't even wanna touch it because it's somebody else's problem. Same with the United States. If you go to the United States right now and you're working with a brace, and then all of a sudden you go to another guy, even though they're in the same specialty, they will not work on the brace. And if they do work on it, they'll work on it hesitantly, and they'll tell you that you're not supposed to work on it, not supposed to work on it. And so just me, if I made it and just left it, that would've been terrible. So it's always best that when trying to service a community, you try to stay there for as long as you can and then try to train somebody. Matter of fact, I am training somebody. Sammy's gonna be the one I'm gonna be training, hopefully for the next two, two years and then get him up to speed and then hopefully he'll see patients so that by the time I leave, I can leave it into his hands. So you actually see me working on this brace right here. I'm just cutting out this hand really quick. And once I get this removed, I will have the brace ready. So the design is really interesting, at least to me. 
because I'm trying to make it easier for the patient to put on. And I'll show you right now. Ooh, great, I broke it. Good job. Anyway, continuing. So that's how it's gonna be put on and it's gonna lever its way open. And that's Sammy, so that's the one that I'll be training. So right now you can see me just working on some grinding techniques, really basic stuff, because I'm teaching him how to grind the plastic. And now he's going to be working on it next. I really believe in Sammy and I was told by the surgeon, but also people around this area, that he's a really good guy. And so I trust him because I hang out with him too. And you've seen him on this video before. <laughs> So yeah, so it's fitting on the patient. And once it fits on the patient pretty well, I put some straps on it. Then I get it right on the patient again. She's putting it on and done. So she was happy, I was happy. And we're off to another adventure. I am leaving clinic to film hair and makeup for the wedding. Let's do it. So this is Joseph, he's a really great guy. And yes, it is raining, it's in the background, live with it. And so I was doing some filming. You know, he's really good with the camera actually, as in the camera loves him. And so here's some angles that I've been working on. I know I'm not like the best videographer, I'm kind of just a YouTuber. So I hope you kind of like these angles. And so he's getting married. Actually, he just got married. I'll show you the wedding video later to this beautiful woman. Now, I'm not good with names, so I apologize. I'll... And she is wonderful. She was great at walking. Um, I had her walk this same path so many times. She was amazing. And so I have a lot of these shots where I go around and they talk about this love story, how she met him and how he met her. It was this beautiful love story. They met at this church, which is where we're at right now. In Haiti, people dress so nice. And also people look great here. I'm being serious here. Uh, the next video, I'll show you the entire wedding and you'll see what I'm saying. People in Haiti are beautiful. I am now filming for the wedding from a clinician. And now I am a filmer guy. So I have a hat, glasses. Well, I need to see. I don't wear glasses in Haiti. I'll tell you later about that. <laughs> So I'm at the beauty salon in Haiti and we're just doing some hair. Not we are, but this lady is doing some hair and she does amazing work. She works so orderly. There's a science to it for sure. I do not understand. Uh, and I have an appreciation uh, for Haitian women on a totally another level. This is just hair. Then the next step after hair, you have pedicure and manicures, which are done here. So I say a joke. And then she smiles. Ugh, that was worth it. I can be funny even if I don't speak the language very well. I just pick and choose the words I want to say. They laugh. And so here they're just doing some scrubbing, some hand lotion stuff and massage, which is really cool. And now it's for the man. Now they're doing the barber work. Man, the barbers here, they are so good. I can see why they're like surgeons. The way he looks at them, the way he's just positioning and everything, it's amazing. Yeah, beautiful. Now we're done, and we're eating. Wow. Thanks. This is Jerry. This is face. <laughs> and I keep getting invited into people's homes to eat, and I'm just so grateful when they do that. That means a lot. Now, motorcycle riding. So in Haiti, motorcycles is like the mode of transportation. And so now I'm just training myself how to do motorcycles. I'm doing figures of eight. I've honestly, this is probably the third time I've ridden a motorcycle or the fifth time or something. Motorcycle lesson with Dustin Nelson. So this is me being a super tourist just recording and putting people on camera. And do you see those yellow water bottles? Oh, we're racing right now. <laughs> we definitely did not win. So on the back of Jacques' motorcycle, he has water, and that's the only water that they get at home because their house is located on a hill. And so there's me finally riding into the sun. Yeah, there's him walking to his home. Look at that, that's pretty awesome. They're so open. So now we're at another Haitian's home, which is really, really cool. And I got some knep, which is like candy. 
Now there's not a lot on that tree and they gave me knep and I'm always super appreciative because that's like their best food. Haitians always give their best and I just, I'm so appreciative when they do. They open their homes, they give me their best. Yeah, that was cute. Now we're heading back home. So Dr. Nelson doesn't really get a lot of breaks so I'm just glad to push him out and get him a ride in. And so he only spent maybe an hour or so out of the hospital and he's back to work. Oh, and now the dogs, they're hunting for a little rat. Oh, uh, they found it. Shame, shame. Moki, Moki, what do you want to say to the subscribers? Come on, say something. Say something. Are you going to say something? Oh, they're going to say uh, like, follow, and subscribe. And thank you for following us for today. Yep, that, that's exactly what, ow, that's exactly what they said. Okay. Bye.